I bought this 1994 Ford Coachman. I believe it was April 1st, 2011. I remember because my kid's birthday is April 1st. So I bought it April 1, 2011. I don't think I've, let's see, it had 49, just under 50,000. I think I have about 85,000. So I've put about 35,000, mostly in the first three or four years. And uh, I replaced the battery for the first time in 2014. I'm talking about, well, let's see, going back, I put a diehard in here. The, the battery went out, this battery went out. This is the one that starts the, the motor. And that went out shortly after I bought it and I put in a diehard battery that lasted seven or eight years. And it, was, it was unbelievable how long that one lasted. And, uh, and now I've, I've got a, a new one in here. It finally gave out interstate battery. And, but this is the coach battery. And the first one went out in 2014. It, it's a BH or BXT, I think. BH50, BXT50 may be interchangeable. And uh, I replaced that in 2014. And since then, I've had to replace it uh, four more times. So I was only getting a couple of years out of it each time. Actually, four times total. So I, I replaced it three times more. So I bought four batteries paid for three and uh the ford dealer perry ford in santa barbara they they supplied me this battery and what was amazing is this one cost about 135 and in 2014 it was like 129 so i was pleasantly surprised that the darn thing didn't go up much in in price but there was one thing uh, that I noticed. I asked the guy when I replaced it, see this, this thing here? This was attached. The ground was right here. And I asked the mechanic if that was enough of a ground, you know, and it, it worked fine, you know, and it, it could be enough of a ground. Although it was, I had to scratch it, you know, it was kind of corroded. It wasn't a very good ground. And if you look look up you know most grounds it says you know use like this number two or no i guess it's a double lot but anyway it's uh welding you know welding uh welding and battery cable very very thick so and if you read about read look it up See, I'm not a mechanic or an electrician. It says should be grounded, you know, maybe on the starter motor or on the block somewhere, you know, where you get a good ground. So I I had this left over from solar work that I did. It's red. It should be black, but I color-coded it at each end. And, uh, and so what I've done is I, instead of this little Mickey Mouse thing, I've got it grounded over here. And well, for what it's worth, you know, I mean, it may may not make a, a bit of difference. And then there was another problem I had here a while back with the, because I don't drive it much. If you let them sit more than a couple of weeks, you know, your batteries are going to die. So I put this disconnect on, you know, I bought it on Amazon. Can you see that? And you just unscrew it a certain way, you know, a few, few a dozen or more turns and it, it'll break the connection to the cable and so now that I have this connected to this ground and not the frame I can disconnect both batteries instead of just one both batteries will be ungrounded and uh, oh yeah this thing was very cool I really like this thing but there was an issue that I just discovered. The post is tapered, of all things. And that's fine if you have it mounted uh, vertically, but see, the way I had it here, it's right up against the battery, and I noticed it was loose. 
So, and you, you know, I could grind that down, I suppose, and, and fit it on there all the way to the shoulder. But anyway, it's on there tight now. And uh, so, so it's all good. Okay. Thank you.